everyone welcome to another episode of my tutorials in bioinformatics in today's video i'm going to show you how to install and set up circles on a linux system right so let's just start it now even though i made mention of linux this tutorial here if you follow it you can also use the same steps to install circles on mac os systems right so first of all let's look at what circle is. so circles is a tool that is used to visualize data in a circular format so if you want to read more about it, you can check this page to read more about it. And I also have an entire playlist which shows how to, again, with different kinds of plots using circles. So if you already have circles installed, then check the description. you find the link to that playlist. Now, let's get started. So we are going to install using Quanda, all right? So let's do this. So what you need to do is to make sure you have Panda installed or Mamba, Mac Mamba. So any of these tools is fine. Okay, instruction for installing these tools can be found in the description. Box. So I repeat, you can install either Anaconda or Mamba or Mac Mamba. So any of them can be used to install circles. So this is the only requirement you need to have. I repeat, this is the only requirement you need to have. And of course, you need to have a Linux or Mac OS system. So that is what you need to know. So let's proceed. So let's do this. Let's move to the instructions for installing. So this is it. We'll use one of these instructions here to install. Okay, so it's very, very simple and straightforward. So let's do this. Let's go to the terminal and then do the installation. All right. So I am my terminal now. So this is what I'm going to do. I am first going to create an environment and install Conda in that. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. So I'll say Conda dash n and i'll say circles this is the environment's name okay so now i'm going to add something so i'll say dash c file conda dash c conda watch right i'll use these channels okay and then i will specify the tool i want to install in this case circles so i'll say circles so this is it right so once I have this, I can install circles. Now I'm using Conda because I installed and upon that's what I'm using. But if you have Mamba, then you have to use Mamba like this. If you're using Micro Mamba, see Micro Mamba. Okay, that's the only thing you have to change. Okay, based on the package manager you are using. So I'm using Conda, so I'll go back to Conda. So this is the final. Command. So I'll execute this command to install circles. So I have to wait. Now, take note that Conda itself, when it comes to installing packages, is slow. So I will always recommend you use Mamba. Yes, I repeat, Mamba and Marco Mamba compatibility are faster when it comes to installing tools. So I will highly recommend that you use Mamba and Marco Mamba. Okay, that's what I said. But I'm using Conda because I know my real run installing tool so it doesn't matter which one i use i'll always find a way to install the tool so make sure you use mamba or micro mamba so let's wait for circles to get installed for us okay so now we have to type y to confirm now you should note that when using conda or mamba or micro mamba the beauty is that it automatically installs all dependencies, right? So if you're installing circles, it needs some Perl packages, okay? So we have a list of them here. So if you're using Conda, Mamba, or Mamba, Mamba, then all these things will be installed for automatically. But if you want to install manually, then you also need to make sure you have obtained all these packages, which as a beginner can be very, very cumbersome. So just make your life easy by using the package managers I have made mention of okay now let's type y confirm and let's hit the enter button all right so now what we have to do is to wait for all the packages and dependencies to be downloaded installed and configured and then we can test circles so let's wait for everything to get down for us okay circles have been installed so we have the instruction here to tell us how we can use circles so if you want to use circles you need to make sure you have activated environment so the name of the environment is called circles as well 
So if you want to deactivate, you use this command. So because we are going to test circles, we have to activate the environment first. So I'll do this. I'll say Quanda activate circles. It is going to activate circles for us. I'm going to see something like this. Okay, so now we are going to test circles. So I will start with a version. So I will say circles dash dash version. This will list the version for me. There's also something I also want to check. Circles needs some pair dependency. So I want to check and make sure all these packages are installed. So I'll say circles dash dash models. So this will list all the pair packages and I should see that they are all okay. Okay, so everything has been installed. So that means we are ready to test circles. So let's get the screen and then let's continue. So this is what we are going to do. I have an example data that I'm going to use. So I will do this first. Okay, I'll first go to the directory. I'll say make the circles. I'll cd into it. And then I'll move to this page to download some example files I'll use. Okay, so let's go to this little report for me. So visit this page. I'll leave the link to this page in the description box. All right, so make sure you come to this page. Okay, I'll leave the link to this page in the description box. All right. So when you are here, you are going to find these three files. One, two, three. Circles.conf, ideogram.conf, heritage.conf. Okay. So these are the three files you need. So make sure you have downloaded them. So to download, click on each of them. Let's start with circles.conf and go back. We are here. Let's go back to this page here. So when you are here, click on this one first, circles.conf. So click it. I'm going to find these things. Don't worry about it. It's just testing. So we just want to make sure circle spread. So we don't need to do any complicated stuff. So when you are here, come to raw. Click on raw. When you click on raw, you find this coming up. I want you to copy the link. This link, copy it. And then move to the terminal. And then download this link. So I'll use wget. Then I'll paste it. But if you are using Mac OS, it's likely you have Kel. So you have to use Kel to download it. You can also download this in your browser. That's fine. I'll show you how to do that very soon. So now let's download. So I'll just say that we get, I'll paste this link. And I'm going to download. So it's done. If I do an ls, I'm going to find the file there. Okay, let's go back. Now, if you don't want to use your command line, you can also do this. You can just right click and go to save pages and save it. Or can go back and then come to this side download your file so you can click this to also download so any of them will be fine okay so just make sure you have downloaded the file that's all that matters now let's download the other one ideogram.com so i'll click it i'll come to raw and then i'll copy the link i'll come to the terminal i'll paste it then I'm going to download that's also done if I do one ls is there. Let's get a third one. Let's go back. Let's go back. Arrow.txt, click it, and then come to row. And then copy the link. We get and paste it. Perfect. So we do an ls and you find them there. So we have everything we need. So now we can test the course. Okay. Now this is a test. So I'm not going to explain a couple of things. Or let me just do this way. Explanation of some of these um, commands and codes have been done in other tutorials. Okay. I have a playlist dedicated for circles. So that one I explain a couple of things. But for this tutorial, it's only testing. So we are only going to run and then just test okay, to see what will be generated. So all that we are going to do is to call circles and then specify this configuration file here. So let's do this. So to test, I'll say circles dash conf. And I'll say circles conf. Yes. Now execute the command. Right. So let's do this now. Okay. So once we hit the enter button, you'll find something like this coming up. Right. Just make sure that you are in the directory which has the files. That's important. 
then just make sure to pause the post and specify circles.conf and then just wait for everything to get down okay so you will see something like this coming up so just make sure you wait and once everything is done you see something like this okay so let's clear the screen let's do an ls we are going to find some files displayed okay you see circles of png circles that svg so let's go ahead and take a look at this or let me just say these outputs so i already have them so i'll just move to my file manager to get it so this is what i have these are the two files so circles.png then i'll have it like this okay so this is, so this is the output so this is an ideogram by the way it's representing 14 chromosomes all them says displaying 14 chromosomes okay i've used this data in some tutorials of mine but this is just showing the ideogram okay but you can add up all right and then add more information to it so i just check the description you find the playlist for circles okay so there is it so this is the png format there's the lvg format so the lvg format the advantage is that it's can be used you can edit it you can do modifications so let's say i have instead that's what i have and i have this lvg file i can just open it I can escape like this open it and then when i open it i can do some modifications all right let's say i want to add some labels i can do that maybe 14 i want to add something else Okay, the test is very small. I'll just enlarge it first and enlarge it here. Let me do it. It's better. It's just a label, by the way. So I'll just enlarge it like this. Now we see how it is. Okay. Of course, I can also zoom in. That's fine. You okay, see, so I have it like this, and then I can move the symbols. Okay, so if you have the SVG format, it's also good. You can add additional labels to it. You can modify the image, basically add some annotations to it as well. Okay, so that's one advantage of having the SVG format as well. But if you don't want the SVG, let's do this. If you don't want the SVG, we can also do this let's go back to the terminal okay i will remove the svg yeah i'm even going to remove this one also okay so if you don't want the svg then when you are running circles you can say dash no svg and right, so let's execute this command if you do it like this then what will happen is that once the plot has been generated there will be no lvg format so you can do an ls and only the dot png will be split or will be saved will not have been generated okay so this is how we do it right so now we have it you can also check it from here we also have it here so you can just view it as well so this is just a test so it's a basic plots here but you can add more information to it and you should also note that you can also run circles on galaxy and I also have some tutorials on that so if you don't have circles installed on your pc you can just use your browser and then just go to galaxy okay and then you can use circles also there but i prefer to use your command line version because it's more flexible i can do a lot of stuff so anyway that's how we do it so now that you are done with the installation it's important to check this playlist here okay so this playlist that you see here has tutorials on circles so you can use that tutorial to learn more about how to visualize data using circles